is India with Designer Accessory Adoption. Thanks for watching this video and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you for giving my video a try and clicking play. And if you are returning, thank you to you for watching a previous video and coming on back for another one. Today's topic, we will be talking about questions to ask when you're searching pre-owned. And these are going to be questions that you want to ask a seller. So first off, when you find that listing, you want to read the description to make sure you fully understand the information that they're providing. Also, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to the photo. So take your time and pay attention to those two things before contacting the seller because a lot of times they will include that information in there. But sometimes when you have sellers that are not doing this for a living or have not done this frequently, they will leave a lot of things out. And sometimes because people are not perfect or you feel like you're being as descriptive as possible, you could possibly leave out a little bit of, uh, a little bit of items that someone may want to know. So this works for companies as well. I've had to reach out to a well-known company that I purchased from before because they just are not that great at photos and ask more details to make sure I fully understand something that's in the description that is not photographed. So you can, you will at time to time have to do this for companies as well. But anyway, so this is going to give you an idea of, before I just go down a rabbit hole, these are going to be some questions that you want to ask. But like I said, you want to make sure that you read through the information and look at the photos that are there first before asking these questions because they likely may have already answered some of these questions that you're going to ask but if they don't these are going to be great starting points for you so if i look over here on the side it is because my notes are over there so we'll go ahead and get started with today's topic so first up and i have some eye candy for you that we'll use as our uh to just give you some eye candy right so this is a vintage gucci saddlebag shoulder bag so if you are interested in this bad boy here it is on my website i will link it in the description down below so you can see more product photos as well as see pricing as well so first up is going to be make sure that you see clear pictures of the serial number as well as hardware engraving so you want to see close-ups of those not far away pictures if you don't see that you want to ask the seller for that information so when i say close-up photos i'm saying so there are gucci's engraved on the hardware down here so you will want to see a close-up photo like that to see the hardware engraving to make sure that it looks okay also you want to make sure that it is in the description the the condition that they're describing so for example Sometimes you cannot get a great photo up close. Like this one here, you're likely not going to see the, the signs of wear on the hardware. So what I will do is list out whether there's hardware markings and things like that. And if I can try to get a close-up photo to describe it, I'll get a close-up photo. But if not, the description is part of the, the details in the description are part of it as well. So if I say there's rub uh hardware where like hairline scratches or it's showing evidence of the plating coming off that's what that it'll pretty much describe what i'm trying to show which is not great because you can see it's not even coming up on camera here so a still photo doesn't really help as well either so sometimes you just you, you physically can't get there because you just really have to have the item in your hand to see it so you try to do that also Something else you want to do is serial numbers. So, for example, this bag does no. This bag does not have a serial number, but it has a old Gucci stamp. So, I would ask for a close-up photo of that if I don't see one in the listing, so I can make sure that I can compare it to all of the other hardware stamp photos. So, if Gucci spell with the I here but then it's spelled with a Y on the inside. You know, you just want to take that what you want to take that as kind of evidence that it might not be quite right. So that's the things that you're looking for, especially with counterfeit items. The spelling a lot of times is not correct. The font they're using is not correct. And they won't be as detailed as making sure that 
if there's someone that created a bunch of hardware that was spelled incorrectly, it's not like they're going to throw it out. They're probably going to use it and mix it in all different bags. So you just want to make sure it's consistent across the board. Usually Gucci does not um, mis misspell their name. I will give you an example. Burberry a long time ago did use Burberries instead of Burberry. So that's the reason why I say it just uses a red flag, but you got to do a little bit more research. But basically kind of take some of those things with a grain of salt and with a grain of salt and make sure you're paying attention to details. You just really want to be very detail oriented when you're looking. Also, another question is going to be for uh, to ask will be a close up of the leather canvas. Uh, stamping is another one. Hardware, you want to make sure, like I gave in the example earlier about the close-up of the hardware, like I gave about the example of a close-up photo of the stamping, you want to make sure you're able to see that up close so that way it's not a photo from back here. You can't read that from back there. You can't even see the details. You can't even see if the stamping, the lines of the stamping is clean. So that's the stuff you're wanting to look for. Like if this is silver and the rest of this is gold. You want to think about that. <laughs> That's some of the things that you're looking for. In addition to that, um, another one I have listed on here is photos of all sides of the bag. You do want to make sure that you can see all sides of the bag. So that's this side, the front side, the top side, the back side, the bottom side, and the other side. The right and left side you want to see side you want to see photos of you also want to see close-ups of corner wear so like that for example I would want to see close-ups of both sides of corner the corners to make sure that I understand what level of corner wear is happening with that handbag and like I said you don't want to see far away photos you don't want to see from back here the side of it this is a great photo that I will use to show the general shape so you can get an idea and then I will zoom in closer so you can see corner wear like that so you can really see the glazing the edging a little bit more so make sure you're seeing from both angles next up is going to be uh, also ask for detailed interior photos if they are already not in the listing so detailed interior photos usually what I do is I'll do a photo like this so you can kind of see the general structure and this bag is lined with leather, so it is hard, really hard to take photos of the interior, but I try to do my best to get close-up shots like that so you can get a general gist, even though that's a black hole you really can't see in there, of the interior of the bag. I also will try to do a photo of this pocket. You can see how tight it is. So you just want to give some leeway, and you try to get as detailed as you possibly can, but... Hey, if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. But especially if you see a photo and it's just showing like this or just like this, you really want to see a photo of the interior like that. And you want to see in the description whether they're describing that there are several openings in several uh, pockets in this handbag there. So this is kind of accordion style a little bit. So that's stuff that you want to see as well, especially if they're saying there's like markings, there's signs of wear, there's staining on the interior or exterior. You want to ask for photos of that so you can see how bad it is. Staining could mean the whole thing is plastered in ink marks or it could mean one little corner. And you want to make sure that you are aware of the full condition of that bag before you give someone your money. Another good question to ask outside the detailed interior photos is if it does not list any information about odors, you want to specifically ask about odors. And yeah, point blank period. <laughs> you wanna make sure there's no odor. So you wanna ask that seller that question. In addition to that, if you don't see any information about um, zippers or hardware condition as far as whether it's functional or not, you wanna make sure you're asking whether the zippers are functioning. So this bag does have a zipper. So you wanna make sure that I can open and close it <laughs> and you wanna ask about that. Sometimes zippers get stuck. Sometimes zippers need a little grease or wax, but you wanna make sure that if they're saying it's a tough zipper or it's not working at all, or also if the zipper pull is missing, you wanna know about that. And only you'll only be able to tell that if you saw a detailed or close-up photo of the interior to see whether that zipper pull is actually missing. So you want to know that information and you want to ask. Also, next up is going to be if there's some other part of the 
handbag that's not fully optimal or not working at all, you wanna ask about that too. So for example, in this listing, for this bag, you can actually adjust the length. So I can just unhook this piece here like that and then pull it up like this, which I thought is so cool about this handbag, right? And I can make the handbag strap longer. So that is a cool design feature of this bag. However, one side does not exactly pull up in, and fits into the pocket as well. Let me try to pull it up here. So what I did in my listing is things that you wanna kind of pay attention to, and you're gonna to have to pick up on what you're seeing in the photos and make sure that you're paying attention to those details and descriptors to kind of prompt yourself to ask some of those questions if you notice something of that nature. I included a photo and I also put in the description that this one doesn't slide, and I don't remember what wording, but I made sure I made it known that you can see that this one fits nice, snugly, and perfect. This one does not. It doesn't take away from you being able to use it, but I want to make sure you're aware of that. That could be the, the straw that breaks the camel's back. Let's say that, that you, this could be the reason why you not purchased a handbag. And I want to make sure you know that up front. So you don't give me my money, <laughs> give you, you don't give me your money and then you get it and you see that it's like this and then you're very upset with me. So that's something that I try to make sure I include in my listings, but that's things that you wanna to try to pick up on and ask about. Non-functioning hardware, zippers, anything missing, so on and so forth. In addition to that, you wanna ask about whether there's any holes, any peeling, any loose threads. A lot of times with uh, some of the vintage Louis Vuitton bags, you will see that they will mention peeling on the interior just because of the condition it is and how old some of those vintage items are. So those are things you wanna know in advance. I actually sold a vintage Gucci canvas bag that the interior had this beautiful shimmery gold, what do I wanna say? Like this sparkly kind of covering over it or coating. And because of how old it was, it did definitely wear away a lot. And so I wanted to make sure that I showed a photo of that and describe it so you were aware. So the person that purchased it was aware. So those are some of the things that you want to look for, you want to ask about if you don't see evidence of that. And even in this case, right, this is a good example. This bag has multiple pockets. But like I mentioned before, it's impossible because of the color for me to get the, a detailed photo of each pocket. So you want to make sure that you're asking that because... If they don't disclose that information to you, that is a reason if it's something that you discover when you get it, that is a reason you can return it if they don't disclose it, as well as conversations within either via email, if you're talking to a, a company outside of a third party platform, you know, email shows evidence of that. But if you're, when you're asking these questions, just as to add this little tidbit here, if you're on eBay, somewhere like that, Macari, Poshmark, Tracy, you wanna make sure that you are having that conversation with that seller inside their platform because that's where your protection will be. But you also wanna make sure that you're asking that question to make sure that you know whether there's peeling going on because from this angle, I can't see a thing. So I need to make sure that that's disclosed if that's an issue. Uh, also, last up is going to be close-up photos of damage and signs of wear. Make sure that if it says that something's not functioning, something fell off, thread is loose, like, I'm, like I had that example earlier, you're seeing a photo of it or at least have it, you see a description of it. So if you see something listed like that in the description, make sure you ask for a photo. That'll be a good question to ask. And um, that'll also bring up any other damage. You have done this before where I'll see photos and I'm wondering about the zippers functioning. I'm wondering about odor because that was not listed. Then obviously I can't see a photo of whether the, well, you could see whether the zipper is fully functioning because they can show you a before and after. But I usually just ask one blanket statement like that and I'll say, hey, so do you have, is there any issues with zippers, loose threads, staining, odor, etc." in that way so that way it pulls up everything and hopefully that person's just being forthright with me and 
forthcoming. <laughs> what, is, what I should say, very upfront with me pretty much is what I'm saying there is I want that person to be as honest as possible about the condition and I'll ask about that since I did not see a listing. So definitely let me know if you have any other questions that you typically ask. I would love to see those in the comments down below. Also, if you have any questions about any of the items that I've talked about so far, go ahead and leave those too. I love seeing comments from people. Also, this is just a quick plug to like, share, and subscribe. I really would appreciate that so that way we can help get this channel out. I was about to say video, but get this channel out to other folks that are interested in pre-owned and are either nervous about diving into it or you have a love for pre-owned and vintage like me and you're doing it on a regular basis. And, you know, we can have a conversation and share our love for this topic. So thank you so much for spending a little portion of your day with me. I really do appreciate it. I love videos every Wednesday covering topics related to fashion, luxury, pre-owned contemporary brands, as well as I throw in unboxings and opinion fashion topics as well. So if any of those things are interesting to you, definitely click subscribe because that way you will get a notification when a new video is loaded, as well as like it, please. <laughs> as well as share it with somebody that you think would be interested in those topics. I, again, thank you so much for spending time out of your day. There are thousands of videos you could have watched and you decided to watch mine, especially to the end. So thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.